Vande Sangeetam. You must be wondering what I am doing. These early hours, awaiting the sunrise. I am doing my Akara Sadhana. And this is for the voice. In modern parlance, you can call it as a voice gym. Why do I need to train my voice? Do Carnatic musicians need to train their voices? Isn't voice a gift of the God? Isn't it enough if you just sing? Only people with voice can sing. If they don't have voice, why should they sing? These are the questions which keep on banging in our mind. When I took training from Peter Kalatin and Anand Vaidyanathan, and I told people that I am taking voice training, they used to ask, what happened to your voice? You need training? And what is voice training? What is voice engineering? And did your guru take all these training? Did our past master take all these training? Did Emma Subhashmi take training in voice? Madhurmaniyar, Chambi Vaidhinath Bhagavatar, they all had good voices. Did they go for training? Well, there are some gifted voices which do not need training. But there are certain voices which need training. Why do we need to train our voice? Isn't it enough if you just sing? Well, if you want to keep good health, it's enough if you if you can jog for some time every day. But if you want to be a Jesse Owens and win an Olympic medal, jogging is not enough. You need to work for that in different ways. Similarly, just to be happy and sing, bathroom singing is more than enough. In fact, everyone should sing everywhere, including the bathroom. But, if you want to be someone in the music field, then we need to train ourselves in different ways. Physical training, mental training, and most importantly, voice training. Our careers are not as relaxed as it was for our forefathers. There's a tremendous pressure on the career, on the voice. We have to deliver our best every time we sing. And we are noted wherever we sing. Okay, now let's come to voice training. Tyagaraja has spoken about the voice. He has lifted a passage from the Vedas which says, Nabi Hritkanta Rasana Nabi Hritkanta Rasana Nasa 
ಅದೂಲಯಂತೋ ನಾಬಿ ಹೃತ್ ಕಂಠ ರಸನ ನಾಸಾದುಲ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಔ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಓ say it and you will feel o or a which is coming right from the deep navel o around the chest and um on the face here side if you have to say um you certainly have to use nasality and if you have to say o or a then you certainly have to use your nabi how do i sing with an open throat how do i sing with the fullest capacity of my voice i will just give you two clues don't bother about this nabi hrit kanta is okay fine if you don't understand from where the voice comes where the air goes okay just follow two things first thing never whisper music music is something we should be thrown out never whisper <laughs> that it's extremely dangerous to the voice always throw your voice give as much as volume that you would give to call your neighbor point number 2 the best thing that you can do is to sing with a pakka tambura i'll tell you why this tambura well tuned tambura finally gives a single note called the gandharam ga antara gandharam to be more precise Uh, if you hit the other gandharam correctly the placement of the other notes automatically get formed in your mind you don't have to search for them while singing them that is point 1 point number 2 is that the voice has a natural capacity to imitate the instrument along with which it is sung suppose i am singing with a harmonium my voice in the passage of time will start sounding like the harmonium if i sang with the veena my voice will start sounding like the veena s balachandra the maestro veena maestro when he sang he sang like the veena pittukulli murugadas the great maestro bhajan singer he always sang the harmonium and his voice sounded like the harmonium lal gudu jayaram the great violin maestro when he sang he sang like the violin Nadaswara Vidwan Rajaratra Pillai, when he sang, there's a recording. When he sang, he sang like the Nadaswara. It's the capacity of the voice to imitate the instrument along with which it is sung. If I had a well-tuned tambura, and if I sang along with the tambura, my voice will start sounding like a well-tuned tambura and that will be extremely pleasant to listen to. Sonority and tunefulness. these two things make a good voice analyze the voices of people like bheem sen joshi kishori amonkar ms subalakshmi kv narayan swami they all sang with a pakka tambura most of the time in their life and that is why you hear their voices you find the tambura is already stuck in their voice let me narrate a small incident to you. I had the chance of singing with the tambura used by Shrimati M. S. Subhrakshmi a few years back. And when we just strummed the tambura after tuning it, one of my friends said, Oh, I can hear the M. S. Subhrakshmi's voice in this. So it happens. You hear the tambura, you hear the voice, you hear the tambura and the voice. Well, how do I do my practice? There are very many methods. but the most popular method is that first cleanse our voice system with om om and then start doing akaram at the base level ah
the general observation is that once you sing or you sing more in the bass level mandra stai the other stai gets cleared up well after singing the mandra stai slowly move on to the madhya stai try to sing long breaths when you sing long breaths after it is the breath is over we tend to take the breath to the lower abdomen that is what automatically happens just watch now my stomach is completely compressed when i take the breath it expands well fine i think the sun is going to rise why do our forefathers say that practice akaram or practice music in the early hours before or during the sunrise simply because when you train your voice is when it is stiff after you had a good night sleep the voice is fresh at the time it is little stiff when you practice them you are able to execute anything or sing anything during the day or any sangadi any point of time and that is why they recommend that you get up early in the morning brush your teeth have a cup of coffee don't sing with empty stomach it's bad a few biscuits or a coffee and start practicing akaram this is what they recommend aa <laughs> ராஜரத்ன பிள்ளை வாஸ் ஒன் ஃபாஸ்ட் நீங்க இவ்வளவு ஃபாஸ்டா வாசிக்கிறீங்களா சுரத்துல இதெல்லாம் எப்படி சாதகம் பண்ணி யூ ப்ளே சோ many fast phrases in your nadasuram how do you practice for these things and the reply that he gave was vilamba kaalam practice pannadanal da idu durita kaalam vandudhu so we need to concentrate much on seeing the slow of phrases the phrases gliding phrases gamakas all these things in order to sing prakas for my age i'm not going to say my age You can go to the internet and find it out. If I am able to sing in one breath for 20 seconds, my voice is fit enough. So let me check. Oh! Twenty-two. <laughs> I am above average. Thank you. This is one way of checking that if you are really fit. If you are able to hold your breath for a long time and sing with an open throat, we don't need to go to a voice trainer to get our train voices trained. Of course, we can get our voice trained by 
exponent is very important. But if you are not in a position to get one, don't worry. This small exercise will keep you fit and happy. Dhari, 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 dhari.